Hi, this is Jason with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. And I'm on an east facing slope near tree line near Monarch Pass. And uh, we just got a bunch of snow, uh, a bit surprising, uh, 10 inches of snow. And uh, a bit of a, a harder layer underneath, part of the slab. I consider here to here the slab. And then we have a weak layer underneath the slab. You'll hear some people calling it the January 19th layer. That's just the, the data got buried, but they're small facets and um, they can propagate a fracture. I saw in an extended column test, I got an ECTP 16, which means it propagated on 16 taps. Um, it's pretty soft still. Um, it's not super wind loaded here. Um, where I'm finding sheltered areas and it's soft, I'm not getting collapsing and cracking on this layer, but any place where it's wind drifted and there's some pretty intense wind drifting today or wind loading um, that's what I'm avoiding and uh, steering clear of I actually did get some big shooting cracks just back there on a low angle slope but wind loaded right off the ridge so be super careful if you find wind loaded snow um, it's really junky snow underneath um, we've got depth core facets you name it so if you trigger an avalanche that breaks on this a uh, decent chance it could step down further. Um, this will be dangerous enough. This will be uh, really hard to escape and potentially deadly.